Matt, the guitar guy here. It's Wednesday, and as I promised, we're going to be doing some even more nuanced stuff within this song. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. I hope you're really enjoying these lessons. I really, really hope you're um, playing a lot more guitar because of it, because that's the whole idea of this channel, is to make you guys amazing and have a lot of fun while you're doing it. So, if we're going along the same theme of adding more things to this song, which we can do, um, this next lesson's gonna be, it's gonna blow your mind when you do this. When I figured this out, when I did this for the first time, which is that little intro I just did, um, it made life so much more fun and made playing guitar more fun. So, let's have a look at what I'm doing now. And this is a, a, over an A chord, so whenever there's an A and a lot of A, um, I might do these sorts of things. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm gonna go give you the, I'll show you quickly what I'm doing. Basically, like a little scale within the chord. So um, it's over the A chord, and all it is is two notes, and I'm just changing those two notes as we go through. Okay, so we've got an A, the very initial part of the A, and this is this can be also part of your uh, varieties of A's that you can use instead of just doing an, an A down here or a A there or a, that A version. We can do this as well. So what we've got here is my, I'm using my first two fingers initially. We've got nothing on the top string, and then it's zero, seven. Six, then two zeros. Okay, so seven six is what we're concerned with. So you're strumming from the fifth string down. Then all we do is drag that up two frets. Have a go at that. So we're going two frets high. So we start initially at the seventh and sixth fret. Just go up two frets, and you've got so the tab for that will be zero nine eight zero zero. And the next shape we've got after that, so that's two shapes you can have a go at. The next shape is one fret higher, so it's going to be the first finger on the ninth fret, and the third finger is going to come in here now. It's going to be instead of a, or a two fret gap, it's going to be a three fret gap. So we're going to be a, um, it's going to be zero, eleven, nine, zero, zero. Okay, do that again. Zero. It's got eleven, nine, zero, zero. So if we just do those first three now, so we've got first one, second one. Third one. Now get used to doing that over and over. Just down strokes for now if you want to, or you can add the strumming pattern. Hear how beautiful that sounds? So simple with that cool strumming pattern going on and some nice jingly jangly guitar chords. It's amazing what you can do. So that's the third shape. Now the next shape after that is exactly the same shape as in the shape we hold our hand in, two frets higher. So go two frets higher. And the, chords, uh, the notes for that is 0, 13, we're getting high now, 13, 11, 0, 0. So 13, 11. And we've, while we're here, we might as well do the next one, which is um, so obviously for practicing this, just use those first ones and then later on add the next one. The last one we've got is 0, 14, 13, 0, 0. And it sounds. It's beautiful sounding chords. So let's go over that slowly once again. So the first shape. So zero seven six. I'll just do the two note, the two strings we're changing. So seven six. Okay. Then it's going to be nine eight. <laughs> then it's going to be eleven nine. Then it's going to be fourteen eleven. And the very last one is oh, sorry thirteen eleven. I should say that one. Thirteen eleven was what I meant for that. Sorry guys. And then fourteen thirteen for that last one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just have fun with that only, and I'm going to muck around with that and show you how cool this can be. So instead of actually following those through in that order, you can muck around and do any version of those of that order. You can start at the highest one and end up at the lowest one. You can uh, chop and change. You can go in the middle, start in the middle somewhere. You can do what you want with it, and it sounds really cool. So I'll show you how I'd play with that. So I'm going to start with the just the strumming pattern itself and the first shape. Moving up to the next shape, moving up again, and the next one, then I'm going to go to the last one, and work my way back down. So that's, so we can hear how cool that is. You know, on an E chord or whatever you want to do to, to make it really interesting. So it's a good way to end the song, and it's a good way to end a section of a song, where, where I get to the bit where I go, I still Heaven found. 
that's what I do pretty much in that little section. Now I've made that up, that's not how you two do that, it's just something I do when I'm doing this song. So what I'm doing is going through, I'm doing like a, a half a bar each, but it's not quite, it's like a down, then up, a down, then up, a down, then up. I'm sort of changing at that point, so I'm going, and then again, then I go crazy. So there's a lot going on in that strumming pattern wise, but we'll show you that in a second. But then you, you can do whatever you want. So I'd rather you did your version of it anyway, but if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. And so half a bar, half a bar, or sort of then da, 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 which is like a triplet happening. One, da, da. So it's like changing down, up, down, up, down. Quite busy that way on the way down, but you don't have to do that. You can just stay at the lot to top part. Okay, so that's the, what I'm doing during the A chord. So that's one of the bits I didn't show you in the earlier videos, but how beautiful is that? And you can do that over any part of the A song, so in, in the A um, chord. So when you, whenever you see the A come up, you can go, oh cool, I might, I might try that one. And you might only get a couple of versions of that little A in there before you get back to the next chord, but it's still fun. You can to the E again. So it's just making the guitar sound way more professional than just E, A and B. There's one other thing that we need to learn and that's the bridge section of the song. It's where the little breakdown happens and we hit this little bit here. Okay, I'll show it, I'll show it to you and we'll break it down and then we'll look at a little bit of right hand stuff. Okay. Now this is really advanced, okay? This is not the sort of stuff if you're an absolute beginner that you're gonna have fun with as much, but um, eventually you can work your way here. But have a go at it if you want to. What I'm doing here is I'm doing a hammer on. Okay, I'm flattening my first finger on the ninth fret over the three strings, and the three strings are the second, third, and fourth strings, okay? So it's like the back end of an E chord, or an A shape. I'm flattening that, my first finger's flat, and I'm hammering on which is similar to like a, what would that be? Uh, doesn't matter, we don't wait, we won't worry about the names today, can't be bothered, my brain's not working enough. So we're gonna do, the hammer on for that would be, um, well the next notes for that would be 11, 9, 10, okay, 11, 9, 10 on those same three strings. So we're going from 9, 9, 9, we're hammering on to 11, 9, 10, okay? Okay, and we're going hammer on, hammer on, we're hitting the chord again, and then taking it off. And then we're hitting the E string, and then getting down and playing an E chord at the bottom. Okay, I'll do that again. So nine, with the ninth fret, hammering on, and we're hitting it again, and then taking it off to the nine, and then hitting the E, and that gives us time to get down to play the, the funky little chord progression. And then we're back again to the E, or to the um, hammer on, to the hammer on part. Now this is all in the key of E, okay? So we've got, There's a funky pattern happening in there as well, which I'll show you as well, but the... I'm just repeating that. It's quite a cool wee funky pattern happening there, and it's, but it's, uh, and it's, that is very advanced. But the right hand has a lot to do with that. So we've done the little hammer on, which is nice, down, down, down. Then we're hitting the, the pattern, which is down, up, and down, up. Okay, down, down, up, and down, up, and there's a little backbeat in there. Down, down, up. Okay, we've got a wee slap to do. So how do we do that? Let's show you how to do that. Down, down, up, up, down, up is what you need to do for that. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and again, what I'm doing, the first beat, down on the top string, down, down, up, up, down, up. So I'm making my way to the bottom. Down, down, up, down, down, up, and there's a slap at the end. Down, down, up. Now the slap is a, I'm actually physically hitting the strings. I'm, I'm coming down with the palm of my hand, which is very percussive, and you need to check out my percussive lessons or my, my lessons on strumming and how to do that sort of thing to get that really cool. The slap and up, down, up. There's like a little feathery down, up that happens at the end because I've got to get my hand back again to the ninth fret. So I'm, okay. And I'm doing a little slap at the end, so down, down, up, and down, up. There's a little stop at the end, which gives me time to get back up to the beginning. 
So it's quite a lot of right hand going, uh, 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 like palm on the guitar, okay? That's the two parts of that. Lots going on in that, guys, lots going on. So we've got the hammer on, and then the bass, and up, stop, up, down, up. And there's another stop, and then you go back to the start again. You can see that, that hear that constant like a. Uh. If you don't want to do a hammer on, you can just start with the fingers already on. At that part, by the way. Okay, so that's the first part of that that um, breakdown section. Then we go the other way around. We go which is exactly the opposite of the, the version that we did. We're going to start with the fingers off, ninth fret, two of those, and then on again. Okay, and once again. But what I'm doing here is making sure the A string is going to be open and ready to play, so I can just keep my fingers there. So I'm going to go. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to go. What I'm doing is adding the A note into that chord, so we've got a little A chord happening there. So notes for that, 0, 11, 9, 10, and then 0 at the end, okay? So we're going 9, 9, and then back to that shape again and just making sure it's open at the bottom. And you can strum through, and then we're going to go back to... So there's lots going on in there, there's heaps of things to look at. You'll, look at, you'll need to look at this a lot of times if you've never done that before. I'm going to do that section all by itself now, so you can just hear it and watch what I'm doing and go, ah, oh, okay, I can see what he's doing there. So we're starting from the end at the beginning of that section. So that's four times, then the other way around, and then the A note. Strumming pattern. Back to there again. And just twice through that pad. And that's that section. Then you just into another verse. I believe. And into the next section of the song. So there's lots going on in there. Right hand strumming pattern wise, it's back to that percussive thing that I do. If you can't do it like that, it's not a big deal. You can always just get through it with a lot of strumming uh, and not so much palm muting. It'll still sound cool. Still sound like that but not quite as funky as if, like the whole thing's just going nuts with drums and stuff um, so there we have it the nuanced version and i think that should cover that song because there's so much going on in there it's a three chord song but wow can we make this thing sound amazing hopefully having fun with that and you're um, looking forward to the next lesson um, next time i'll be coming along is friday we're going to be doing um, some of your comments we're going to be answering some questions and if that sounds like you if you've got a question or comment you'd like to know some um, something more or me to explain something better Go, go ahead down, down below, put your comments in. I read every single comment. I'd love to hear from you. And by the way, thank you so much to all those people out there that are commenting. I do read them and I see a lot of people coming up a lot, like quite often the same people are commenting on different videos, which is really cool to see. So that tells me that things must be going all right for you guys. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you and we'll be seeing you again on Friday for some awesome fun facts. See you then, Mark the Guitar Guy signing off. Catch you later.